<laughs> YouTube family, Maverick Nation up and running. What? Well, yeah, guess what happened now? Another soap opera saga in a Jamaica. Yeah, but the one that somehow the one that seem a little bit subdued in terms of the interest and the discussion about it. The the death of the former Western Saint Mary member of Parliament, team named Joyland Silvera. His late wife is Melissa Silvera. This, the, the, her death and the strange circumstances surrounding it. It mind boggling, Wagwan people. And there are some wider issues where the whole saga and uh, how it is being handled. I go point and tell you about Jamaica again. And you know, see how the angle may take on it, you know. Now, first of all, the lady died, I think, November 10th. And initially, the report said she died of natural causes in her sleep. That's the report we hear initially, you know. Subsequent to that, now, them do a postmortem. Postmortem revealed that the lady was shot at least three times. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, one bag of mix up there because apparently some rogue policeman by himself. They go to the, the residence and, you know, must have pronounced it an accidental death. Uh, death of natural causes, not accidental death. Death of natural causes. Can you understand how them protocol the police have to involve when people die at home like that, you know? Can they have to go there and ensure say, where, where, where? Ain't nothing suspicious. Natural causes. Yeah, we just learned that recently myself. <laughs> See it? So the police, subsequent to that now, upgrade the investigation a murder investigation because of the autopsy where reveal said the lady have gunshot in her body. Now, obviously in them kind of cases, you know, say automatically the spouse are the first sub suspect. You may understand to the police question the former MP and you know, I assume there's some ballistic tests to you know, whatever firearm in the play they may go do all of them something. But the other thing we are getting me now the the former member of parliament Apparently, him, him retain a king's council, prominent king's council, Mr. Champagne. Everybody know Mr. Champagne. Mr. Champagne, everybody liar. <laughs> if, you can, if you can afford him. But there's a, there's a, apparently, Mr. Champagne again, as they are prone to do these days, these prominent attorneys these days. What them do them put out this thing about people on social media must be careful how we discuss this thing. As if to say them were a muzzle social media and muzzle people right for free speech. Now, Mr. Mr. Champion and this, the rest of the legal fraternity, if you understand, you know. This is not 1976, you know, or even 1986, you know. You see social media and the fact that people, every little Tom Strokes and John Doe, have access now and the technology now to pass it them opinion in the public space, you know. Some of us who get training in a formal media know say you can't chat any or anything. We know that, you know. But don't tell me, say, based on what the police report say, and based on what the official report say, about a case like this, we can't say something stink about this case from high heavens. Eh? We can't say that. Because it's public knowledge now. Yeah? And murder investigation is taking place. So it is quite right for some of us to argue. So wait, how come the lady was pronounced dead by natural causes initially? And then autopsy found three gunshot in her. A minimum three gunshot in her. How come that rogue policeman, that single policeman, go do what I'm doing? You look like things look like a come up when you look, when you look at everything. We not when come here and tell us that. As such that kill the woman, or as such that kill the woman, you know, or a woman, so the human. No, we don't know. We not, We don't know about that. We don't know who killed the woman. But don't tell us that we can say this looks suspicious. If it was in another dispensation and another era in Jamaica, would have said look fishy. <laughs> but we can't use it. But I know that fishy mean again. Fishy means something else now. Yeah. But this looks suspicious. Yeah. And. Here the thing now, 
Yeah, the real thing we grab the Maverick you now, and if you don't know the Maverick over time, you know, understand where the Maverick are going with this story. You know. We have this tendency in Jamaica where you see people of a certain class. Yeah, class, you know, importantly in Jamaica, this, you know. But people of a certain class, we are not allowed to discuss cases involved them, you know. The media treat them differently than them treat the people from a different class, you know. Case in point, you remember that infamous X6 case? You remember that case, eh? When the people them made the X6, it's X6 driver, them used to call him, you know. When he became a suspect in you know, the murder of the youth, you know. You remember that? X6 driver. I remember none of the media house them never want to call him a name. And me, I said to my colleague, they were working at the news department. I said, hold on there. How do you know the man's name? We are the suspect in another case here. And no, 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 I published the man's game. You know name. You know why? Because the man in a certain social class. Contrast that now to how them deal with any youth from a lower class of the society or in a different profession. Where the police them put out all the name them before them even question them. I said, this man wanted in connection with such, 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 such. Name everything out there, you know, ALS and everything, you know. But when you have a man where you want him and you charge him, you can't call him name. Because he's at a certain class. And the same thing will come out in a Silveria case, you know. Yeah? Because he is of a certain class. I never mean, had the color apartheid. But he's a former member of parliament. So you know, say automatically, he rubs shoulders with a certain caliber of Jamaicans. We must treat it differently. differently. We must be careful when we talk about it. But if it's a little dirty foot youth, from down a rim or over jungle or down a Tivoli or down a Bakto. Yeah? Or down a Flankers or down a Bog Heights or down a them places. Eh? Any little conductive foot you from them places, you know? We can call them name and put them picture pan the, in, the new, in the newspaper and on the TV and say, yo, this youth wanted in connection. He's a person of interest. Not even charge it, you know? But in full identity out there. All him mum and him pup and his sister and his brother if you run up and down. Because him name out there. But if you are a certain class, anybody call your name. Eh? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Eh? You know, say, one of Jamaica really is problem that. But it's not a problem we discuss. Because the classism is so rife and the double standard and the hypocrisy. So rife and conspicuous and vulgar in Jamaica. But it's one of them things that we, we don't know people we call the people. With the power to speak about them thing, yeah. They might benefit from the hypocrisy. So them in the class that is covered by the hypo hypocrisy. But them thing are glaring hypocrisy. Especially when it comes to something like justice. Something like the criminal justice system. No class is not supposed to be in a justice. And how we treat with the process. So there is no reason for we have this practice in a Jamaica, this norm in a Jamaica. Where when they youth them come from a certain strata of the society, certain social category of the society. You ever hear when the, you ever hear when the police, them, when some violence flew up in some place, and the police, wa, them call up on some entertainer, them always deal to the entertainer them. Always deal to the entertainer them. I mean, always I wonder why the entertainer them not sue them. Police them put out a thing, say, such artists wanted, um, you know, he's wanted, He's coming, required to come in and talk to the police because of the flare up in violence in such place, such place, such place. Artists going and talk to the police. Artists don't have nothing to do with the violence. Artists gone free, but artists' reputation tarnished. They normally do it to the dance hall artists. Then. Me always wonder, oh no, them not so. It, me wonder. <laughs> it, but this is how we do it because remember, so the dance hall, the dance hall artists, them, you know. They are, they, they are perceived to be of a certain class as well, you know. So that is why they treat them so. But whenever the people them in the upper class, the elite class, the political class, can that qualify you to, you know? Yeah, them treat you differently when you're in another, when you're in another class, that, you know? Whenever anything go wrong with them and there's a case against any one of them, you can't discuss the case. You can't say that such man, they are the suspect. You can't say that such man, they are going to charge. And all this look like a such man there. But any little dirty foot youth in name out of road and in family and in family if you run up and down. Anyway, welcome to Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah, man, Jamaica, that people. That is Jamaica. The hypocrite center of the world. 
Well, not really still. The world is one big hypocrite place. We don't tell you that already. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm in between time. We continue to discuss these cases. But tell the King's Council them. So we shall continue to discuss them. But we're not fools. So we'll discuss them responsibly. But don't tell me so we can't discuss them. I'm going to stop putting the dirty foot you them name out there. If we can't put the uptown man them name out there.